Today's video is all about Christmas Eve boxes. So yeah, I do one for my daughter, Emily. Emily is my teenage daughter who is 13 going on 14 probably going on 30 to be honest, but still loves the idea of a Christmas Eve box. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you and sharing all of the ideas in terms of things that I've done before and also the things that are currently in this box. I've got it all ready, waiting for Christmas Eve. So hi everyone, if you're new to our channel, I'm Laura, I'm half the brownie life. The other half of the brownie life is Emily, my teenage daughter. So obviously I'm talking about the Christmas Eve box for Emily for this year. Lots of ideas as well in terms of the ways that you could move these different ideas for a younger child potentially. I mean obviously I'm only really talking about children growing up into teenagers here for Christmas Eve box. I mean in all honesty does anyone else do them for adults? Not sure. Comment down below if you as an adult get a Christmas Eve box or you give somebody else a Christmas Eve box that isn't a child or a teen. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear when's the age do you stop doing a christmas eve box not sure but yeah comment down below on any of those things i'd love to hear from you so just before i get started open the box and let you know all of the things that i've got in there if you are new to our channel definitely subscribe there's lots more content coming in terms of things such as this and um, other christmas theming lots of other christmas things for our 12 days of vlogmas there's lots of things on our channel already and our last video was our primark last christmas bit shop so if you've not seen that go check it out got lots of other things on there right now so starting with the box everybody this was actually something that i purchased probably about four years ago i think from not on the high street so it is a personalized one which i think looks beautiful you can get so many different christmas eve boxes out there you know from quite cheaper ones from high street shops to a lot more expensive sort of personalized ones now this is actually sort of a, a hardboard cardboard type of material so it's not really Really sort of withstanding in terms of you know some of them can be wooden Christmas Eve boxes that are really expensive but equally it's not sort of cheaper um, material if you see what I mean it is still it, well, it still feels like it would be built to last for quite a long time so I can highly recommend not on the high street uh, for things such as this because I think they're really unique and everything's very very different check out our video on a recent not on the high street haul if you're interested so yeah a beautiful bow here that literally you open it up like this and then it's a magnetic um, part there that obviously just shuts it up so let's get to opening Emily's Christmas Eve box 2023 so I always put in Emily's Christmas Eve box well usually not this year usually a pair of Christmas jammers but I'm going to get to that in a minute so for now I'm going to show you exactly what's in the box but usually I would put a pair of Christmas jammers and definitely for a younger child I think that's an amazing idea for Christmas Eve opening up they've got new pajamas but as I say I'm going to touch upon Christmas jammers in a moment once I've shown you the other bits and pieces so starting with the best gift ever for Emily definitely and um, I think it's something that she's going to be really interested in so usually I have put in a Christmas gift game of some type so last year we put the christmas edition shot in the dark card game very much depends on the size of your christmas eve box as to the type of game you could go for because of a lot of um different games christmas or ordinary games they can be quite big and bulky can't they in boxes unless you go for a card game which i'd highly recommend i definitely highly recommend shot in the dark game it's really really good the christmas edition um but anyway the the game that i'm putting in for this year's christmas eve box Oh, I think she's just going to think this is amazing. I thought it was just really different. I've never seen anything like it before. So the game is called Selling the Dream. I think Emma will be really interested in this. Um, it's definitely something that she finds quite intriguing, you know, to, in terms of sort of selling houses. It is actually a 12 plus game. So it's quite nice to find a, a board game, card game type of thing that is actually something that is a bit older, you know, because sometimes you find things can be a little bit young or can be too much adult and, you know, they're not always necessarily into it. But Emily's definitely at an age now where an adult game would be absolutely fine. But I thought this was amazing. Emily's really interested in terms of like selling houses and just properties in general. So I'm not sure if she'll go down that route when, when she's older, I don't know, but she's interested in the inside of houses. What I'll do is I'll just read a little bit of the back of it just to give you an idea. So you've got cash cards that you want to collect so you want to get sort of the good things in a house and what you don't want to do is you want to sort of avoid um mold asbestos noisy neighbors things that are definitely not going to help you sell a property so what this 
game is about is players need to pitch their properties by blagging their bid worthy benefits but if you pick a less desirable feature card it's your job to basically try to just tell a few fibs and um, it means you've got to bend the truth and the player with the most money in cash and property wins so it's time to do whatever it takes to get the sale of the century and um, so yeah it looks really really good so it's definitely a bluffing game in the sense that you've obviously got to sell a property but you might have cards about the property that are not so good but you've still got to sell it you've still got to put that really good spin on the property um, and look at the positives not the negatives and things but I think she'll think this is amazing so yeah it does involve sort of money things and cards I'll show you the back of it so these are obviously the cards and then obviously you must you know buy and sell so to speak I think that's pretty much what it's about buying and selling um, properties yeah I just think this is a really really good game I actually bought this from Sainsbury's and this was six pounds so again I thought it was a really good value game as well so I think she'll be highly delighted of her Christmas Eve box with this in it I think this is absolutely amazing so this little box says happy Christmas on it I'm not sure if you can actually see with the shininess of the and this is from the Yorkshire soap company so I'm going to just open it up and show you there's lots of different soap companies out there that do all different amazing soaps but yeah I got this one from the Yorkshire Soap Company. I'll confess I did actually buy this last year because apparently the soaps don't go off or anything and the scent is still there even after quite some time so in all honesty I did buy this half price quite a long time ago. So currently at the moment they're still on sale for I think they're £8 so I'll have paid £4. They come in this beautiful tissue paper. So I'm just going to open it up and let you have a look at this amazing soap. Please don't turn off thinking it's just a soap. It's no ordinary soap. This is absolutely incredible. Are you ready? Look at this. Oh my word. I mean, fancy having that as a soap. It looks absolutely adorable. I don't know if Emily will be wanting to wash her hands with it. I think she'll probably end up leaving it on the bathroom side just for us all to look at. Um, but oh, it's so beautiful with a little bow and everything and it smells oh, it smells so divine. It's absolutely beautiful. So what a wonderful gift and a really lovely idea. These ones are obviously quite expensive. Um, as I say, I got it half price so I think I'm pretty sure they're £8 and I paid for. Um, and you won't really get Christmassy things really reduced until it hits more either really close to Christmas or after Christmas. But I'm sure there's loads of other things out there um, that, you know, if you're following sort of the ideas of the things that I'm putting in the Christmas Eve box, I'm pretty sure you could adapt a lot of these things. So you could do, you know, a bath bomb. I've done bath bombs before um, or anything other sort of smelly kind of ideas that you might want to put in a Christmas Eve box. It depends on your child. It depends on or your teen um, or your adult, for instance. Instance, but um, it does depend on what they're like, the types of things they're into. Um, but Emily definitely loves soaps. She does love bath bombs, but she has got quite a lot, if I'm honest. So, yeah, this beautiful teddy bear. I wonder if we should give him a name and just leave him on the bathroom side. What do you think, guys? Oh, it seems sad to actually put your hands over that and just sort of like let him melt away. It might be really sad, might it, to see him kind of diminish to nothing. Oh. Poor Christmas Ted. Anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful gift and hopefully Emily won't mind washing her hands with it. You can always change different ideas, different years for different people, you know, depending on, you know, what your child or teen is more into for definite. But as I say, I've gone with a soap this year. So I always like to get her a book. So I've got her this book this year. It's actually one that she'd requested. Um, so I think it's more like a sort of a romantic Christmassy kind of book. Um, yep, yeah, just like magic. And it's actually part of a three for six pound range. So two pound fifty separate or two pounds, obviously within the three for six pound from the works. I do always put a Christmas book in. So this is Christmas theming because it's still a Christmas book. But years ago I would put in, so from four years ago and three years ago, etc. Um, I would have put in a Christmas storybook, so more like a picture book that you would do for a younger child. But then for the last couple of years, as she's got a little bit older, um, I've then put in more reading books. But again, still Christmas themed if I can. That's what I'm hoping to continue to do for her. But comment down below, when they hit teenagers, are you supposed to stop a Christmas Eve box? I don't see the harm in it. If, if they love it, you love it. It's the harm in that. 
So yeah, a Christmas book is definitely a winner. And she's been reading lots recently, actually. Every year I always put a Christmas bauble or a Christmas decoration for the tree. Uh, but Emily does have her own tree, so the last couple of years it's been more about the theming on her tree rather than any of the traditional trees that we have in the house. So this year I have bought this one because it'll go in line with her theming wonderfully. So I got this from Not On The High Street. It's a personalised one, hopefully you can see um, her name on there. So I got this from Not On The High Street in my recent haul, go check it out if you're interested in anything else from there. This was £10 instead of £20, I wouldn't have paid £20 if I'm honest. Um, from the feel of it and the look of it, it is beautiful, it's a really you know, pretty design and everything, um, but it's not worth that for, for definite. Um, I think if you were to get it half price like I did, then I think it's more reasonable. Even then, I'd still say it's quite expensive because it is only sort of you know a plasticky bauble, um, but anyway, still. It'll be really, really pretty, will this, on Emily's tree. These caramel minis, I think they were 2 99 so the dark chocolate, milk chocolate and white chocolate, all little figures with caramel inside as well. So I thought these were super cute. I think she'll love them. Emily really likes anything that's chocolate related, to be honest. You know, if there's chocolate, she's happy. I've actually bought Emily Christmas jammers. These ones from Primark that were £12. They're featuring my recent Primark sort of little mini haul, Last Bits for Christmas. The reason why I'm not putting them in the box is, as you can see, pretty much the jammers. I have put them in. They would fit at a push but nothing else would actually fit in the box so that's the reason why I've actually separated them I wasn't going to buy Christmas jammers this year just because we've we've already bought a couple of pairs new from Primark and you have a younger child and maybe they're not thick like these you will definitely fit you know Christmas jammers and all the other bits in there but for Emily I'm struggling now to get sort of thick jammers as well as other things in the boxes so over the years for Emily's Christmas Eve box I have done quite a few different types of ideas but usually Christmas themed things that's the main thing that I've tried to stick to as much as I can so in her younger years obviously four years ago and three years ago type of age group that she was then I would have put in Christmas jammers something chocolate that was Christmassy I would have then put something that was more like a top toy or a soft toy, a game and something for the Christmas tree. That's been my generalised sort of ideas in terms of every year that I've put in. But the last couple of years, well last year and obviously for this year as well because I've only really been doing it for four years. I think I was a bit late to the party with the whole Christmas Eve box. I didn't quite get the whole thing of why do a Christmas Eve box when you've got Christmas Day? However, I did kind of just, you know, go with it and decide to do them myself. But you see, this is the thing. Once you start things, you've got to continue them, haven't you? So last year it was slightly different in terms of what I put in for her. Um, but I did do sort of similar things in terms of chocolate and games, but I didn't put a soft toy in. I didn't put a game in or anything like that. Last year she had bath bombs instead. So really the difference is, oh, actually, sorry, I didn't mention about the Christmas book, did I? Every year, obviously, a Christmas book has gone in. So the only difference this year really, she's still got the chocolate um, but it's just a little bit more grown up chocolate so obviously these is a box of chocolate rather than say a chocolate figure or something. So for a younger child I'd put something more figure like in, an older child or teen more of a box of chocolates or something they just really like. In terms of the book idea, again a younger child more of a story picture book whereas this is a proper Christmas reading book but again trying to stick to Christmas. Now I know the game is different because this year just because I found this and I thought this just seemed really fitting to put in the Christmas Eve box and I just thought that would create lots of fun. You don't have to do you know these type of things it's just things that I've done so usually it's been a Christmas game but this year it isn't and obviously as I've said with it being a 12 plus this is definitely an older game for her rather than something a bit young and then instead of obviously the toy or soft toy and obviously last year I did the bath bombs this year I'm doing the beautiful little teddy soap which is going to get washed away eventually but never mind um it's still beautiful really sweet little idea so that's instead of a toy or a soft toy but as i say for a younger child i'd definitely be mindful to put something in that they're going to really like so a soft toy or some type of toy that they're going to be into and then the christmas decoration i haven't changed my stance on that you know i still put something in for her tree and now it's her own tree which is really really sweet and nice but this isn't necessarily really christmas Christmassy, you know, like a 
a Santa or you know anything really super Christmassy which is what I would have done when she was younger so this is just an older idea comment down below do you make Christmas Eve boxes what type of things do you put in them do you theme them what type of things do you do I'd love to hear any ideas that all of you have got out there and hopefully that'll be super helpful for anyone looking through the comments as well hopefully I've given you some great ideas today drop us a comment with anything that you'd like to talk about in terms of the Christmas Eve boxes so now I'm going to get to some fun footage of what the Christmas Eve box looks like with everything all in it so that you can see how it all looks together. Um, I think it looks beautiful and I think she'll be really happy on Christmas Eve Well, Emily. I hope your child or teen or adult is really happy with whatever you put in your Christmas Eve box this year. Remember to subscribe to our channel for lots more content coming. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get to the footage of the completed Christmas Eve box 2023. Thanks for watching everyone. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new